Substantial research shows that the more schools and parents work together, the more pupils benefit. Many schools start building a relationship with parents as early as possible by providing drop-in sessions for parents with babies and young children. One of the strategies that's been really successful has been the stay and play. A lot of studies have shown that parents are crucial to children's success and if you think that the parents spend the most amount of time with their children and it's the parents um, philosophies or the parents priorities that become the child's then to have parents who are on board with the school and who know why it's important their children come to school are at school ready to learn then if you've got the parent support it's much easier for the children to make progress. What shall we make now? Shall we roll, roll some dough out? When a parent understands the ways of teaching, it helps the parent to help their child progress and learn. And also gives the parent the satisfaction that is more involved in their child's life, school life. It helps the children to settle better in the school environment and prepares them for their early years in the nursery. I come to the DC school to help my son. It's, if you do not come here, his problem when he starts nursery, he can't know how to share, how to deal with the teacher. He don't know anything about the anything environment. And it's good for him and good for the school as well. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. He's my son is very enjoyed and he makes a lot of friends and I'm very enjoyed that class. For our parents with young kids living locally, we would like to go somewhere which is close to our um, houses. Um, and this is an ideal place for us. This is music making and music. When schools seek opportunities to meet the emotional needs of parents, the parents' ability to meet their children's emotional needs is also enhanced. Parents become involved with their child's development from birth um, in the things that we offer through the children's centre. The drop-ins for, for babies, for breastfeeding support, right through to toddler groups and dedicated parenting classes. We encourage parents to come in at the beginning of the day, for the first half an hour particularly. So we either do guided maths or guided reading at that point and the parents join their children and hopefully um, they are learning from the teachers things that they can do at home to support their children but also they are pushing the children on actually in that lesson as well. And it's a kind of nice relaxed time of day but the teacher gives the structure we're able to come in and sit with the children every morning and assist them with their work, um, which obviously allows us to see what they're doing and help them with their work. So we really get a good insight into how the children um, are getting on with their work, developing with their peers and things like that. So it's, it's really good. So how much more do you need now? All the women. 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 Okay, so now do what do you do in the end? I come whenever I can and it's a really good opportunity and the child enjoys it as well because they feel more comfortable, especially year one is it hard year because it's this is the first year where they're sitting at desks and they have to do a lot of work. So it's a really good opportunity for them to feel comfortable with their learning. Parents are becoming involved with their children's learning much earlier and that is showing dividends through the school because now they're, as they come into nursery and then into reception, they're already much more aware of their children's learning and how they can support their children's learning. And we do classes later up in the school for specifically around supporting your child's writing or supporting in your child's um, mathematics. We have a drop-in session for parents so parents can go with our learning mentor and they get to chat about a number of subjects and we often cook with those parents because we find it's a nice social activity for the parents and parents are more um, keen to open up to the learning mentor if it's a kind of nice relaxed atmosphere. We um, just cook and we eat and we learn about other cultures, you know, it, it's just so interesting we can come and do that in our school. We feel quite 
privilege that we can come into our school and use the school facilities, you know, to, to cook and to talk with each other. You know, it's lovely. We learn so much, and if we've got any problems, you know, we can talk to other, as other parents about it, talk about it, learn about other things. It's just, it's a fantastic group we have here. We love it. Secondary schools are becoming increasingly aware that building a strong partnership with parents and carers is also of great benefit to older pupils. It's very important that the school and parents work very effectively together for the well-being of the children. We do a lot of work with parents. School can be stressful and I think by working together we can help the children succeed the most. We look at ways of working together to target children who are more vulnerable or who need additional support. Young Minds has long recognised the importance of working closely with parents. I think parents feel very isolated often and we do a lot of work supporting parents. One of the pluses I suppose that comes from that is we hear a lot from parents about what it's like to have a child who has uh, a mental health problem or an emotional difficulty. And that's really valuable because that informs a lot of the training we do. Um, we can feed some of that voice back into the work we do with professionals, so whether that's teachers in schools or educational psychology or other kind of support services around the school. So bringing that parent voice into the training, I think, is an essential component in what we do. Hello, young minds, how can I help? Okay, is it a son or a daughter? And how old is she at the moment? Young Minds runs a helpline for parents and carers who've got concerns around the mental health, behaviour and emotions of a child or young person up to the age of 25. Often children who are excluded or being bullied, they've got problems learning, um, difficulties with their friends and, and having difficulties sort of going to school. It's important because often um, parents and carers, they don't have an opportunity to sort of talk through situations that they're in quite independently. So what they're trying to do really is just to sort of fact find in some sort of way about the best way forward. Who should they be contacting? Where should they be going? You know, and how might they be able to support their child or young person? Mm -hmm.